and welcome to the Crumbs and Doilies Bakery. Uh, we're here, it's a busy day, everyone's got lots going on, but today we are doing some staff training because we have launched for you guys <laughs> a really, really brilliant new range of cakes on our website. They're called Favourites Cakes. They're based on our celebration cakes, but simple versions, so it's paired right back to their sort of best bits but kept really really simple and delicious um, so this is going to be a really nice alternative if you don't want something really fancy with all the bells and whistles but you do really want a cake that's delicious and yummy um, head over to crumbsandoilies.co.uk check out the new favorites range but anyway we did a bit of prep yesterday I, I borrowed one of the bakers Emma from um, from down here and we went upstairs and did a bit of the baking yesterday so today I'm going to teach the guys how everything is made and how we decorate them all and yeah I'm really excited so let's go So we've got all the finished cakes here, each one lovingly decorated by um, all the members of the team downstairs and myself. The vanilla. Now you can obviously have a favourites uh, range without vanilla because vanilla is almost everyone's favourite. Lovely classic birthday cake and we have just um, spent a lot of time redeveloping our vanilla sponge recipe. We've put buttermilk in it. It takes some of the sweetness away, kind of um, the acidity in the buttermilk kind of balances the sweetness out a little bit and also it helps it to stay really moist and also prevents it from really crumbing up which is um, can be a problem with some sponges. So it's really lovely. I'm really proud of this cake. I spent a long time and many bakes getting this right, so here goes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We're using all our really great quality ingredients still. We've got estate dairy butter, which is a British butter. Our really great quality vanilla, which you can also purchase on the Cupcake Gemma website. Really moist, really nice crumb. It's got a bit of a raspberry jam inside, a little bit of zing in the middle. Each one gets a little distinguishing feature, so. For vanilla, it's got to have sprinkles, hasn't it? And you can choose 
the blob colour. So now we have chocolate, and this is a recipe that we've used in the bakery for the, just the longest time because it doesn't actually need that much improvement because <laughs> it's so, so good. We use really high quality Dutch processed cocoa powder to get a really intense chocolatey flavour. We also use a little bit of coffee, controversial I know to some people, but it really does enhance the chocolate flavour, so don't be scared of it. We also fill it with a chocolate cream cheese icing, which we've just found to be much sort of tastier, chocolatier than like a regular chocolate buttercream. So the tanginess of the cream cheese icing really brings out the chocolatey flavour. So this ends up being like a really um, tasty cake without being too rich and sort of too over the top. Uh, and it's lovely and moist as well. And it keeps moist for days. Uh, this is a real keeper. So if you don't manage to eat the whole cake in one go, that's all right. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. It's like a real proper birthday cake, but like like chocolate birthday cake, but like times 50. Amazing. Decorated really simply with the lovely chocolate sprinkles on the top. Now we have the lemon drizzle cake. So this is one of the top sellers on the website in the celebration cakes department. In that side of things, we do this really, really amazing thing where we put like meringues and pie crumb on it, but we've just paired it back, but still getting really great flavor. Fresh lemon zest, and we've got fresh lemon juice um, all in the cake. We've also got a really, really zingy buttercream and also a lovely pool of our amazing lemon curd, which we've been making forever. But it's a really, really zingy, fresh, like fun lemony cake and it's actually um, one of everyone's favourites from downstairs tastings I think about five of them said it was their favourite and it's so good mm. I think it's the fluffiest out of all of the sponges next up red velvet now when I first started crumbs and doilies red velvet was really not even on anyone's radar at all um, and it's since become one of like Britain's best loved cakes. Um, obviously it's been around for a long time in America and I really love it. And again, it's one of the guys from downstairs favorite as well. And a lot of people, when they did the tasting, they were really surprised that they still really liked it because we've obviously got loads of other really exciting flavors. But I think red velvet is a really classic flavor. You've got that really velvety crumb, which comes from the, the buttermilk and the apple cider vinegar. And it's got that intense red color. But also the thing to remember is it's a really vanilla -y cake with a hint of cocoa. So we use that really great quality vanilla. We've got a bit of the lovely um, Dutch processed cocoa powder in there, but it's not a chocolate cake. It's very much a vanilla cake. Mm. And it's so good. It's tangy all around. Like you've got a bit of tang in the sponge. You've got the tang from the cream cheese icing. Mm. And that velvety texture. It's so lovely. Now we've got a newbie. I've been making carrot cupcakes since the birth of crumbs and doilies, but we've never done it before as a cake, I don't think, have we, guys? No. It's such a delicious flavor, we thought it deserved its spot on the favorites menu. Um, but we, when we were developing it, Nikki suggested we put stem ginger in it, and we did, and it's really delicious, guys. Um, so it's classic kind of carrot cake with lovely cinnamon and ground ginger spices, but then we also put um, stem ginger, which we've whizzed up, and that mixes in really, really well with all the lovely organic carrots that we use. And so you don't get big chunks of hot, fiery ginger. You just get this, like, hum in your mouth when you eat all the spicy. Oh, we've also got lovely sweet walnuts as well. The cream cheese icing balances everything out with the spices. Really, really lovely and such a classic. And really moist as well. This one keeps moist for ages, but it's not going to last that long. Next, we have the salted caramel cake. Oh, I love salted caramel. I just love a bit of salty and sweet. And in fact, like I think salt should go in all the things, but this is where the salt really shines. Um, <laughs> so we have a delicious syrup sponge. Um, so there's lots of golden syrup in it, and it keeps it really sort of moist and fudgy, uh, really lovely texture. And then in between the layers, we have our salted caramel buttercream, our homemade salted caramel sauce, which we have like a lovely pool of all inside here. And then we have that a little bit on the blob just to give it a little bit of a stripe. And let's just crack on. Ooh, yummy. Oh my goodness. Now we have the favorites version of probably one of our best selling cakes of all time, the Raspberry Ripple. So we've done this flavor for years. It's won awards. A vanilla and raspberry sponge, which has raspberry goo all rippled all through it. And then we have delicious vanilla buttercream inside and our homemade raspberry goo as well in there. And then a lovely raspberry buttercream on the top. And then we just finish it off with a little dusting of freeze dried raspberry powder, a little bit of freeze dried raspberry bits. This is so, so yummy. This is a real 
like crowd pleaser. And yeah, for good reason, everybody. It's so light. There's a really strong raspberry flavor coming through from all that lovely intense raspberry goo and the ripples inside. And this is just as fluffy as all the rest. It's really lovely. Last but not least, we have coffee and walnut, which I know you're probably thinking, what? You've never done a coffee and walnut cake at Crumbs and Doilies, and you'd be right. I don't know why we haven't. It's such a classic. It's such a beloved British tea time favorite. It couldn't possibly not go on our, our menu. Our lovely classic fluffy sponge, but we flavor it with espresso, which we make in-house here at the bakery. And also, obviously, we put all of our lovely um, walnuts in there. And then it's filled, crumb coated and top coated with espresso buttercream, again, made using our espresso. And then finished with cracked coffee beans and a little bit more walnut. And I'm telling you guys, this is such a delicious sponge. Really, really light, fluffy, just enough coffee flavor that you get that coffee hit, but you don't get a punch in the face. This is fast becoming one of our favorites and I hope it will become one of yours as well. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little peek into Crumbs and Doilies world. We're really, really proud of these cakes. I personally am really proud. I think they're going to be brilliant. I think you're going to love them so much. You know, they're such a great alternative to the more elaborate celebration cakes. So they're already available to order um, for collection from one of our London locations or for delivery within London. Tell your friends, tell your boss, tell your family, tell everyone. Go and check out crumbsanddoilies.co.uk. We'll put the link down there. If you do head over there or if you get one of these cakes, let us know what you think in the comments box below. We love to hear your feedback. In other news, some exciting news in Patreon land. Um, if you're a member of the Bake Club, you can look forward to live streams from us on a more regular basis. So we're going to start doing those. Um, so you'll get access to us, basically, um, sneak peeks into our world, um, behind the scenes stuff. You'll be able to chat with us directly. Um, so we'll give you all the information for when we're going to be doing them um, before we do them, obviously. But if you want to check that out or if you want to join up uh, and be in our gang and join the Bake Club, then head over to patreon.com forward slash Cupcake Gemma to join up. Anyway, we'll be back next week with another video. So until then, I really hope you love these cakes as much as we do. And yeah, see you next time. Bye. Oh my God, what am I gonna eat first? Thank you.